There's only a few days to go now until the NVIDIA Ampere launch and I know you're excited as I am. So I thought why not do another GPU video. So today what we're going to look at is for all the people that are undecided between the 3080 and the 3090, we're going to look at the video RAM because there's a bit of a gap between the 3080 which has 10 gigabytes and the 3090 which has 24 gigabytes. Now I know in a video that I did uh, last week I said that the 3090 would have 12 gigabytes and I was basically looking at the video cards um, article and that stated 12 gigabytes and there are a few comments on that uh, video that I did that said it was probably going to be 24 gigabytes because it was going to use two gigabyte modules and there were going to be 12 of them uh, and they're probably right it's probably going to be 24 gigabytes now with that said that is quite a bit of a gap between the 3080 and the 3090 and I'm sure there are people out there who are trying to decide whether the 3080 with the 10 gigabytes of video RAM is enough or whether they need to jump up to the 3090 and so that, that's what we're going to answer for you today and what I did was I went around looking at video benchmarks on YouTube and I've got the results to share with you right now. So the first chart I've got here is a video benchmark that was done by Benchmarks for Gamers and this was done pretty recently so it's got all of the latest games and this was done June the 6th 2020. Now I'm gonna not going to read out all the results um, but I'll just point out to a few things that interested me specifically here we've got Control and it has a very high video RAM usage of 9.4 gigabytes at 4K and at 1440p it has 7.3 gigabytes and the Division 2 was 10 gigabytes in 4K and 8.6 gigabytes in 1440p. Now the rest of the games they pretty much average between 6 to 7 gigabytes for 4K and for 1440p it averaged maybe uh, I guess about 5 gigabytes if I'm just eyeballing it. Uh, I don't want to actually put an average because a lot of these games are very different in terms of how performance intensive they are. So I think uh, you can see the results there for yourself whether you think uh, 10 gigabytes would be enough for you if you're going to run the 3080 at 4K. And I think 3080, if you weren't going to change your monitor and you're going to stick with 1440p for the entire generation, then maybe the 3080 would probably be enough to hold you over for three or four years. You can already see here the Division 2 is 8.6 gigabytes, so it's running, a lit, it's running it a little bit close, uh, but you know. They're the results and uh, you can decide for yourself. Now the next chart that I have is another video that was done very recently. It was done by Random Benchmark and it was July 25th, 2020. And you can see here uh, Doom Eternal had very high video RAM usage which had 9.5 gigabytes at 4K. But in, generally speaking, most of these games are between 6 to 7 gigabytes of video RAM for 4K and for 1440p the video RAM usage was around I guess 5 to 6 gigabytes just by eyeballing it. Okay so there's one more game I wanted to check which just came out recently which was Microsoft Flight Simulator and that was uh, it was very performance intensive so Microsoft Flight Simulator uses 7.9 gigabytes at 1440p and 9 gigabytes at 4K. So you can see here that that would be another game that would um, run it a little bit close if you were to run if you were to buy the 3080 at 4 and use it for 4K resolution. Now, one more thing that I wanted to check was how the video RAM usage increased over time. So I went back and looked at older benchmarks and this one was when the RTX 2080 Ti came out and it was done by Tech Epiphany and this was December 17, 2018 uh, that most of these games hovered around 5 to 6 gigabytes for 4K and for 1440p it was about 4 to 5 gigabytes with the exception of Shadow of the Tomb Raider which had very high video RAM usage. Now just one word about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and also on the previous chart Call of Duty Warzone. 
uh, it actually uses up all of your video RAM available. So on the RTX 2080 Ti, it uses up 10.5 gigabytes, and then on the RTX 2080, it would have used up 7.8 gigabytes of memory. So I have one more chart here, which is from Artis. Now he did a mix of games back in March and April 2017 when the GTX 1080 Ti came out. And you, as you can see, there are pretty old games here like Assassin's Creed Unity and The Witcher 3. Now it's not too much of a surprise. Uh, aside from Rise of the Tomb Raider, which had 8.5 gigabytes for 1440p and 9.8 gigabytes for 4K, it's uh, mostly the same as uh, the previous chart uh, that was done by Tech Epiphany and you're looking at around I guess 5 to 6 gigabytes for 4K and maybe about 5 gigabytes for 1440p. So I think to sum up the results here over the last three years there has been a little bit of an increase in video RAM usage uh, from 2017 to 2020 you can see uh, some of the older games don't use as much video RAM, but it's probably been on average maybe a one to two gigabyte video RAM increase. So I think back in 2017, for 4K games, they probably used around five to six gigabytes, but now it uses about six to seven gigabytes. And for 1440p, it might have been about four to five gigabytes, and now it uses five to six gigabytes of video RAM. Now the issue is, whether you need to cover all games and I think most people want to play those triple A games that uh, uses very high video RAM usage and in that case when you're looking at games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Rise of the Tomb Raider Control and The Division 2 which has very high video RAM usage then I think that the 3080 may not be enough at 4K so I think in summary I would say that if you are gaming in 1440p and you're not looking to change your monitor then the 10GB 3080 would probably be enough but if you're in 4K or looking to upgrade to 4K then you might want to consider looking at the 3090 with the 24GB of RAM. Okay so if you enjoyed this content make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel for more gaming news and analysis like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Now if you're adamant about buying the 3080 but you're still a little bit concerned about the 10 gigabytes of RAM, there is one more thing you can do. You can go to www.vram.com and there you'll be able to download the RAM that you need. It comes in one gigabyte portions and you can pay for however much you need. So you can go to that website and uh, check that out.